Hey, Candy from Blessed Life. I'm going to give you a different opinion video today. Um, yesterday, I didn't do the video I wanted to do. I wanted to do a video on my new puppy, but we took her to the vet and I started crying. She's she's fine. She's fine. But um, I'll talk about why I was crying and everything in her video, but that's why I didn't do the meet my baby video. But today I wanted to do a video while top, while the topic is on and it's about Tati and Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and all that big huge drama that's going on because I watched the Tati video and I've got an opinion just like everybody else. So if you want to hear my opinion, stay tuned, please subscribe, hit the like button and leave comments. Let me know what you think too because it's, you know, it's an interesting thing. Yes. There are far more important things going on in the world. I was talking with my best friend today about what's going on in the U.S. and how upsetting it is and, you know, what people can do and what people can't do. And Because um, you kind of feel helpless about a lot of those situations. And so, yes, but this is just a distraction, I think. Honestly, people just sometimes want to be distracted. And, you know, instead of thinking about the bad thing, she gets sucked in. So, um, I just, you know, I, even the title, Toddy finally breaking her silence. I'm like, girl, if you kept your silence a year ago, none of this would be happening today. And I think that that is, um, what is so sickening. And also if I kind of did some research, cause I think I've seen some of her, makeup videos and stuff before in the past. She's not somebody that I used to subscribe to. I kind of subscribe now because I kind of want to see what's going on with, um, and see if I'm right. But, and I've been testing some of her videos on tutoring, tutorials, opinions of makeup, stuff like that to see. But really and truly, she seems like she's, one, she's pretty. Two, she's talent. Three, um, she is, um, doing well in the, or was doing well in the makeup business. So one, there was no reason for her to do the video a year ago. Two, the video that she just did, everybody's like, oh, Toddy just canceled Shane. Toddy just canceled Jeffree Star. Toddy just, you know, told the truth about them. And I'm like, really and truly, if you watched the video, what she did was expose herself. And I think that, um, what she did a year ago wasn't cool, and I think what she just did isn't is even more uncool. I don't think that it was right. Um, and look, I don't know all these people. Jeffrey Star, I don't think I've ever seen a full video of him. I think I've seen a video clip of him or there talking. Um, never was a fan. Never bought any of his makeup. Never really cared about his makeup. Um, all I knew about his makeup was that he has really pretty lip glosses that are lipsticks, either lipsticks or lip glosses in a really pretty case. I think I saw Charlotte's beauty room one time when she went to Las Vegas and she bought some and they look pretty. That's all I know about them. So I really don't have an opinion about him as a person. I have never tried any of his products. Um, I will say he wasn't my cup of tea, those couple clips, and so I've never subscribed to him, never watched him, never bought anything because of him, um, and really kind of was oblivious to most of him ever. Same with James, the guy that she talked about, um, and Shane Dawson, I was aware because he was friends with um, Trisha Paytas, who was one of the first per people that drew me into watching YouTube. And so I was aware of him because he did videos way back in the day with Trisha. And I had stopped watching Trisha because she kind of went downhill at one point. And I was like, I can't watch this because I like her as a human being. And I'm not going to watch her going downhill. But I did resubscribe to her after watching two videos that she just did. Um, and, you know, she's, I don't know. She's one of those people you just kind of want to... Pray for and hope that she gets it because I think she has a good heart, but I think she's just surrounded by too much toxicity. And from what she said, she didn't have a good child life. So 
and sometimes then you're drawn into a lot of stuff and you will do a lot of stuff. And but now Toddy, all she did was blame Jeffrey Starr and Shane Dawson. Toddy is a mother of a teenage boy, so she's probably at least 36 plus in age. She's married, she has a husband, she has she has a successful business. She um, has talent as a, a makeup artist because I, I watched one of her makeup um, videos. She So there's absolutely no reason last year for her to do what she did. And it's really sickening this in this new video to watch her simply say, oh, I was gaslighted, I was in... And, and, Everything bad I said about James, I was saying it so that he would, you know, he's young and I want him to help him. No, you didn't want to help him. The truth is James started um, negotiations with another vitamin company. She was doing um, negotiations with a vitamin company or starting the, I don't know. Is she the one that's behind Sugar Bear? I don't know. Um, I've never tried the vitamins. I don't know. Uh, I will say Sierra Schultz, Schultzy did a really good video on things that uh, YouTubers make, made me buy or something like that. And she did the sugar bears for a month. And every week she measured her hair and it did grow about, I can't remember how much it grew. So, I mean, there was that. She's <laughs> That's all I know about sugar bear hair. That it worked for Sierra Schultz. Um, but, and that Candy Johnson advertised it on Facebook forever and a day. That ad kept com coming up until I had to block it. That's all I know about that product. Never tried it. Never used it. Don't know. And I don't even know what the name of the product is that the James Sky um, did. But the fact is, she, for whatever reason, felt threatened and and, um, yeah, yeah, of course, if she's saying, I'm doing this, maybe he's not going to mention to her that he's coming out with one, too, or he's been approached by another company to um, represent a different one. Because look what you did to him. Why would he have told you? I mean, he probably had a little smidgen of um, an idea that this is the kind of person you are, Tati. He probably thought, you know, you can't compete, you know, whatever it is. And so that's why he didn't say it to you. Um, and, but this whole thing that Shane Donson, who you barely knew and didn't really know, put all these bugs in your ear and Jeffree Star and they were influencing you. No, you were jealous of him. You decided to make a video to trash him, to hurt him, to try and promote your product and make his product fail. That was the only purpose of your original video. And so your, but your new video, you're saying I was a 30 something year old woman and these other guys made me do it. And I knew it was wrong and you know, and all the other things. Okay. Yes. Shane Dawson is having a lot of problems right now. He's probably, I don't know what's going to happen with him. Jeffree Star is been under some drama and who knows what's going to happen with him but yeah it's kind of like a kick them when they're down and there was absolutely no need for it people had, really didn't care about um, it anymore well and it was starting to gain buzz because of other people because of Jeffree Star but your whole part you know to try and say okay these people are down and everybody's hanging on them so I'm going to pop in and hate on him too, and then all the hate that I got for last year for hurting James, maybe that will go away. Um, it doesn't go away. And really, your behavior is very narcissistic. And from last year to now, you're not taking any um, responsibility. You were a grown woman when you made the first video. You are a grown woman now. If you felt like you had to make a video, you could have come back and said, you know, I want to make a public apology to James. I really was a jerk to him last year. I was jealous. And um, James, I wish you the best. I love you. 
but you can do that in private anyway. You don't have to make a video. You didn't have to post a video. And, you know, it just, oh, it's just not good. And the fact is, if you should take, take a cue from Madison Miller and, um, Tanya Gonzalez, Charlotte's Beauty Room, S on this Glam, all these, what, there's 101 wonderful new up and coming artists. And that's who I really, really follow. I've never, you know, really much followed. Alexandria Ryan is a hoot, by the way. She makes you laugh. And I found a bunch of new ones that I can't really say their names, but um, I wish I had their names on that I would promote them. But there are a million and one other people. And if you look at their videos, Toddy, they don't ever do this drama crap. Okay? They don't ever do this embarrassing stuff. So you don't, And you were talented. You didn't have to do it either. You didn't have to do it last year. You don't have to do it this year. You know, and especially you're a grown woman with a husband, with kids. You know, act like it. You are not back in high school anymore. And I do want to give a shout out to my girl, Trisha Paytas. I watched her two videos on kind of on these subjects. Um, you've grown up some since the last time I saw you. And I've watched one of your videos. It's probably been six months or more. And I'm really glad. It seems like you are kind of in a better place. Um, and I'm happy for you. And I just think, you know... I'm just praying for you, girl. I just want you to um, find your peace, find your center, and um, know that you do not have to do some of the pictures and stuff that you do on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I can't follow her on Instagram because, I mean, I, I don't want to look at some of those pictures that she posts. Um, so, but anyways, I do love you, and I hope that you can you know, love yourself and find out how special you are because I really do think that you're special and talented too. And um, that's my two cents on the whole drama. I really do think that people, you know, you can watch it. You can, you know, get the popcorn out. And I think that that's fine because, like I said, I think it's just a distraction. But I think that you don't you know, spend the rest of your life doing it. I know that there are few, uh, there's this one kid, and I can't think of his name, but, like, he's posted, like, 10 videos commenting on everybody's videos that are coming up. Tani said this. Shane said that. This one said this. This one said that. And, you know, in the end, it, it's kind of like soap operas used to be back in the 70s and 80s for people. And I think that that's what YouTube has become, but let's make YouTube a better place. Let's stop the dramas. Like I said, there are a lot of talented makeup people, and even if you want to do more drama and, and fun things or, or fake things, just, um, you know, make up your little plays and do them, but don't do ones that are trying to drag other people down and hurt other people. Do things that are going to uplift people. Do help each other. Help, you know, it's, it's a big pie. Um, YouTube is a good place for a lot of people to get their feelings out, their thoughts out. And I think that in the end, it's going to be um, a more positive place. I, like I said, I see a lot of great um, makeup artists coming up that are just fun and good to watch. And, and, and they're, you know, they might get real. They might get human. I've, I've seen people, you know cry. Um, Esam Glam has been very, very open about her alopecia, for example, and I think, but she's helping people. She might be talking about something that's, that's sad, but she's talking about it so that she can help other people and other young girls that are suffering, and she's saying, I got through it. In high school, I had a hard time and stuff, and she, that's the kind of people you need to watch. People that are going to uplift you and pull you up, not, you know, and so there is plenty of technically drama on, um, the uh, show without on YouTube without being, you know, um, pulling people down and being negative and being dr just drama. And there's, I've known people all my life. I think that most people that I've ever known that have to have drama, like they have everything going good. They've got 
they've got a brand deal, they're, you know, going good, they're about to launch something really exciting, and then boom, they have to tear somebody else down because they might have a brand deal too. Those kind of people um, are actually self-defeating, and it's that, and they're addicted to the drama. And so every, you know, every time everything's getting really, really good, they've got to be like, boom, I've got to throw a bomb on it. Lindsay Lohan talks about that. She's very self-defeating. And she's even said she gets very comfortable when everything's going really well. And so I think some of these people have that same kind of problem. And I hope maybe that they can get some help for it. They can actually see themselves and realize this is not healthy. <laughs> I've got a great job. I'm getting, I'm doing something that I really like. And so, you know, why would I want to destroy it? Why would I want to hurt it? So anyways, that's my take. I hope you like it. If you didn't like it or you have a different opinion, say you're pro toddy and anti somebody else, you know, you can inform me. Like I said, I don't watch any of these people on the regular on the <clears throat> so, and I don't think, like I said, I, I told you what I know about. Um, so anyways, I'm not an expert. I'm not like totally into this. I don't know all the extra people because I know there's other little players in there. Don't know them. But anyway, oh, somebody um, is burning uh, barbecue. So anyways, I have to go. You guys have a great day. Big, big hugs. I hope you have some sunshine in your life today. Bye.